yeah. just develop. Yeah. Because I think what we share is this sense of curiosity, <coughs> the slightly absurd yeah. of human. I was going to say absurd <laughs> is the word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and also the sense that anything could have a story in it. <laughs> yes. And we did. It is. It is quite a wonderful thing. Perhaps we should say what it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. D- d- well, it's a side stirrup. It is a side, a side so, saddle stirrup. So it's... side saddle stirrup. Yes. <laughs> um, one of one of the stories that I'm working with, the Black Bull's Bride, which comes from the Black Bull of Norway. Um, there is a apprenticeship, a love trial, where the heroine makes iron shoes. So I, lo- I mean, for me, mm. I loved that story as a child, and for me, this was always the iron shoe, the shoe. from that folk tale. No, that's interesting. Even but... though I knew it probably wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, maybe yeah, it is. <laughs> so it's, I think it's bronze, but there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. uh, and these objects were hidden deliberately. Mm. Um, wrapped in uh, a cloth and seemingly at random but very deliberately hidden. The question is why? Um, and actually, it, it's very much of the moment, the, the study mm-hmm. of these mm-hmm. caches, mm-hmm. or as they are now becoming known, spiritual middens. Mm-hmm. Um, what's, what? a, what's a midden? A midden is a dump. Yeah. It is literally a, a, a place that you throw rubbish. But these aren't rubbish as such. Yeah. They may seem random objects and you know you, you do get broken bits of pottery and things like that but they're deliberately deposited the idea being um at least this is the best scenario at the mm-hmm. moment that we can come up with um as a way of protecting the house yeah. and the occupants specifically i love that idea that tension of a spiritual midden yeah so something that holds power yeah. that's a dumping place there's a place that you put yeah. them because yeah. these things are spiritual yeah. in, in their in their focus and these specific places, again, this is something that we we found an echo in the folk tales. They yeah. tend to be at boundary places. Yeah, yeah. Which are chimneys, uh, chimneys, doorways, and windows mm. specifically, or places that are considered to be weak points. Um, and it, it seems that what's happening is they're um, they're in a sense of protection. Mm. So in, in the medieval period, the, these coins would have been bent for um, in honour of a saint. Mm. You would ask for the intercession of a saint with the words, um, Saint somebody or other, please save my house, mm-hmm. save my person. This person is sick, I'm going to bend a coin, and this may be all the money I have in the world. I will, t- I will then personally go on a pilgrimage to your shrine yeah. and hand that over to you. And we do find them around shrines. It is a, a prayer made solid, is how they're referred to. That's amazing. Because in, in um, one of the folk tales in, in Lost and Found, without giving away too much, there is a Jack story, Jack the Trickster story. Mm. And in the first half, Jack tricks the devil by, um, it, it, by persuading him to turn himself into a coin. Right. And then Jack gets the devil in the coin and traps him um, in a crucifix made of um, nails. Interesting. Okay. And then persuades the devil to give him what he wants, releases him from the coin. So that's almost like the, the folk tale inversion of the prayer made solid. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sense that stories and objects travel together. Yes. That, that this is not just a fixed thing that that only tells us about time it tells us about people very much so and actually um right what we have here is a 15th century um lead ampulla um it is uh essentially it's a souvenir Mm -hmm. of a pilgrimage Mm -hmm. undertaken in this case to uh waltzingham right that's something that Again, in the, in the um, folk house collection, there, there's a motif 
that I use to kind of weave the, weave the tales together, mm. which is this idea of setting out on the long roads. Yeah. And characters sometimes just pass each other by on the long roads, or there are stories that some characters use from the long roads that help them out in times of trouble. Yep, yep. And sometimes that's to do with the recognition of the power of an object or yeah. a phrase. Or yeah. that. And, and that's true to how these things would have travelled. Yeah, absolutely. It, I make know. a lot of stuff up, but I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as you say, you know, waltzing with... So many, so many beautiful things to play with. <laughs> so yeah. many beautiful things. There we go. I will let you pull that out. Okay. I'll and give you we, that one. I'll give a bit of a. Well, that's almost safe. 